here we go. Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. My name's Eric, and this is Carolina Autos. Uh, just got through filming a few minutes ago a video for you guys about a, uh, a car that I'm buying on Carvana. And funny story as it turns out, I had no sooner than just turned off the camera and started to download the last video than I get an email from Carvana saying, hey, uh, your car's ready for review. It's re ready, it's, we're photographed, we've, we've finished the photographs, you can go online and look at it. And it's actually more than that. They finished the, the pictures today, they rushed the thing through, and it looks like it's going to be ready to pick up on Saturday. So I haven't actually looked at the car yet. Um, I haven't looked through the pictures, the 360 tour, so I wanted to share that with you guys. So we're going to uh, flip this around real quick. We'll get logged into my Carvana account, and we'll look at the car together. All right, everyone, got logged in and got the car pulled up. They have finished photographing and everything. Um, so let's walk through uh, the, the whole process here. We're gonna, um, we're gonna take a look and see if we wanna purchase this car. Uh, so first thing I notice, uh, we're just on the exterior closed view. This is what the kind of the default view it pops up as soon as you open uh, one of the cars on the website. And first thing I notice, driver side scrapes. So let's see what that's all about. We can click and they'll have documented this, this imperfection. Um, looking like, I'm going to guess that that is actually the mirror. And if you zoom in, hopefully you guys can see small scratches there on the mirror. Um, not a big concern. I can either get that touched up, replace the mirror whatever needs to happen. I'm not worried about that. I don't know why they have the triangle all the way down here, but that was definitely the mirror we were looking at because I can see the turn signal right there. So let's zoom back out and keep looking around. You can just rotate it. I am not seeing any more imperfections on the car. Oh, the wheels look great. Okay, so we went around, I actually, for a second there, that reset to where it should be. Looks like there's something going on with the website. So that scrape is definitely on the on the mirror. You see when I turn it, it, it goes to the right position. So let's view the exterior open. And these are such quirky little cars. Um, got the full hatchback, full trunk. Um, and it is actually a three-door car. A lot of people don't realize that. That back seat opens up on one side, so you can get couple people in uh, you wouldn't want to put anybody real tall back there but you know two average sized people would fit with with reasonable comfort they'd be a little cramped behind me because I'm six foot four but uh, not too bad let's take a look at the interior it's got all the options I want six-speed manual got the backup camera the larger entertainment screen this has got the premium audio package in it as well um, you see right there, if we'll focus, premium sound system, that's got the, the built-in subwoofer. I know factory subwoofers aren't necessarily brilliant, but it's better than what's in my Kia right now. It's got the leather, turbo leather seats there. Um, yeah, the car is looking like it's in great shape. Um, 17,000 miles on it, so wouldn't really expect anything different. So real quick, I will want to scroll down here and look at the full-size images. Yeah, not seeing any wear at all concerning, um, and I do like that this car has a push button start. I've gotten used to that in my Kia. There we go, 17,000 miles. Engine bay looks clean. Not seeing any cause for concern there. Looks like the factory battery is still in it. Um, maybe a little bit of wear or some oil or something. A little dirty on the seats there. That'll clean up no problem being leather got the backup camera and back to photo one so we are going to uh, they told me I have 48 hours to complete the deal um, I don't want to wait 48 hours I think we're gonna go ahead and continue purchase okay guys I just wanted to run through real quick make sure that there wasn't going to be any personal information on there um, don't want obviously my address or anything like that out on the out on the internet um, 
not just yet anyway. So we're going to select uh, Carvana Finance. You see 82% of customers choose this option, so um, you know we could also pay with cash or get our own financing. Carvana's financing is fantastic, it's through Ally Bank. Um, actually a few friend of my, friends of mine work at Ally Bank, very reputable bank, and I am going to go with that. Um, here's the trade-in credit as discussed. Um, I'm a little bit upside down, but not too bad. We're not even going to worry about that. I'm going to put down enough money on this car to cover that. Um, we're going to apply the trade-in credit. And see that it has reset up there, the total price. Cash or finance, it's asking us again for some reason. We want to finance with Carvana. Save and continue. Okay, sorry I had to, I had my, it showed up my address and my birth date and everything there. I clicked off, uh, just hit pause on the video just for a moment. Um, okay, so so we got through the financing. The video just asked us if we want to do Carvana Finance. Chose yes. Um, there's again is my interest rate showing my monthly payment at 326. That's with no money down. So we're going to click here, customize that deal. Um, we're actually going to put five thousand dollars down today on this car. I don't think it actually comes out today, but um, so that adjusts my rate down to 7.8. Monthly payment of 230 for 66 months. We're going to click save and continue there. All right, asking us if we want gap coverage. Of course, we're going to decline gap coverage. We're putting enough down that we should not need gap coverage. I will owe less on the car than it is worth. And there it's telling us we can pick it up here in Charlotte um, at the South Boulevard location, which is very close to my house as it turns out. Uh, just a few minutes away, so we're going to do that. And it says we can pick it up as soon as the day after tomorrow, which would be Saturday. So we're going to hit save and continue. All right, so it's asking us, do we want coverage? This car is still under the factory warranty, uh, ba both basic and powertrain until uh, 60 months or 60,000 miles. It's still got like four years of warranty left and 40 something thousand miles. I'm not gonna worry about the Carvana extra coverage. So we're gonna hit choose not to have additional. And now it's asking for my driver's license. So I am actually filming this with my phone. I will have to pause the video at this point and uh, we'll, I'll get all that documented um, and then we'll pick it back up at the next step. Okay guys, got all of my identity documents and credit check and everything verified. Got my funds verified. I, I kind of paused the video there. Um, like I said, just don't want to share uh, any private information unintentionally all over YouTube um, and you guys don't need to see all that anyway whole process start to finish took 10 minutes so um, you know the whole process of buying the car here has been a sum total of maybe 15 minutes um, I had to go outside and take a couple pictures of the car and stuff because I want to trade it in so um, and we're actually going to upload one of these right now so uh, right now it's asking for the odometer photo of my current car, so I had taken a picture of that. I put it in my downloads folder. Uh, looks like it's right there. Go ahead and do open on that. It's going to upload, and I got my bank statement uh, for my Kia Forte. Got it through Kia Motors Finance, so I just had to download a PDF straight from the website. Uh, no problem. So those two documents they were needing um, I've got those completed. It says that the vehicle registration on my current one they can get directly from the NCDMV. Um, so they must have an electronic log of that. So we're going to go ahead and click upload. Alright, I also had to call uh, and get my funds verified that were in my bank. That took five minutes. Uh, took longer on hold about 10 minutes on hold um, than it did actually on the phone 
a uh, lady who helped me, his name was Monica. She was great. She kind of gave me a, an idea of what to expect when I get there on Saturday to pick up the car, confirm that everything is good to go for Saturday at 2 o'clock. Um, so we should be done. All I have to do, I've got my driver's license. I signed all the contracts. Um, again, kind of off camera just to, to keep my information private. Um, there's where I'm going to be picking the car up. There's the time and everything it's got on there. And all I need to do now is make sure my insurance is ready to go. So um, I'll set all that up uh, again, kind of off camera. I'll have that ready to go to show to them at the dealership um, or at the vending machine, basically. <laughs> um, so that's it, guys. Uh, start to finish. That was the process of buying a car on Carvana. Um, we will pick this video up on Saturday at the vending location.